As entrepreneurs, we're juggling so many responsibilities that more often than not, we forget to do the simple check-ins on ourselves to make sure that we're satisfied and operating at our highest potential. The goal of the Entrepreneurial Hierarchy of Needs Assessment, EHAN for short, is the most detailed way to take a quick but very valuable inventory on how we're operating on our personal levels so our business operations never suffer. Unfortunately, most of us are still running the same old hustle until we drop mindset, but I can tell you from experience that is the fastest way to the bottom. Having built many six and seven figure businesses in the past, I've seen how not paying attention to our basic needs can crash our motivation, slow our progress to a stop, and leave us feeling without direction because we are blinded by burnout. But you are here to fix that and protect yourself from ever having to suffer through that again. The five categories that make up the entrepreneurial hierarchy of needs are our health, our wealth, our relationships, our recreation, and of course, our businesses. These five categories are what we need to manage and maintain high levels of satisfaction with. This ensures that we will be operating with clear minds so we are able to approach our business with focus and without distractions. Each category is made up of questions that you will be able to rank from one to 10. If you feel that question doesn't pertain to you, just skip it and move on to the next one. When selecting your satisfaction ranking, it is important to take two things into consideration. First, let's talk about how each question is scored. The lowest rank is considered dissatisfied. That would be a score range from one to four. The middle ranking is considered moderately satisfied, and that would be a score range from five to seven. The highest rank is considered very satisfied, and that would be a score from eight to 10. As you're pushing your boundaries, don't be surprised if your score drops a little. This is probably a sign of you reaching for higher goals and you're now finding yourself with a little bit more work to do to bring your score back up to where it was. Each score is not a measurement of effort. It is a measurement of where you are in relationship to your goals. The idea behind this assessment is not to make it to 10 and stop. It's to get all of our levels as high as possible until the next time we take it. We're going to be redefining our satisfaction every time we take it. After the questions are answered in each category, take the time to average all of your scores in that category to create your ranking. If you left any blank, then don't apply them and just skip. Do not include them in your average. After you've repeated this step for each category, then take the five answers that you've come up with and create one final average, giving yourself the overall satisfaction level for the assessment. The second thing to consider is that this assessment should be taken at least every 12 weeks. By dedicating yourself to tracking your satisfaction level every 12 weeks, you are now able to see the direction of your progress. This allows you to become truly objective to your levels of satisfaction in life, guaranteeing that you are never guessing and never moving backwards. I'm so excited for you and our upcoming experience together, but remember this is not a race. This is about peeling back the layers and taking inventory so we can move forward making calculated decisions every step of the way. Congratulations, and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.